Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This time I'm taking a look at the Monkey to Go from the uh, Callful line, and it's from a company named Taito. So here we have a figure fully assembled out of the box, not much similar quite for this one, just need to pop it on the base and you have a fully assembled figure. And overall this is a really nice looking figure, I have one gripe with it though which I will go into more detail throughout this video, but for now let's take a closer look at the face. So taking a closer look at the face first, and I think it looks really good. It looks very accurate to on screen appearance if you ask me. Um, the eyes are really well printed, the rest of the paint on the face looks pretty good. However, the uh, lip does get a little bit sloppy towards the bottom there. I don't think that little extra bit is meant to be there, but it's not a huge deal. It doesn't really bother me, I, honestly I didn't really even notice till I uh, took a closer look at the face. But taking a look at the hair now, it's been really nicely sculpted, however I'm not a huge fan of the translucent plastic used for it. Um, it's a translucent uh, sort of orangish colour where in the show it should be more of a pinkish salmon pink colour. Um, so I do believe they got the hair colour wrong for this figure which uh, I had the same issue with the uh, other Corful figure. It, they both use the same uh, colour. So that is a little bit unfortunate, um, but apart from that, it does look great. The uh, blonde is properly painted on, so that is nice. But moving a little further down, she does wear the uh, school outfit, which has been really well sculpted. From what I can tell, there's no paint shading in the uh, outfit at all, um, but it is really well sculpted. All the creases and wrinkles in the uh, outfit looks pretty good. She does wear bits of jewellery here and there, like the uh, choker there, um, the studs on the ears, which I forgot to mention, and some bracelets and rings, which uh, is all painted really well as well. And as you can see, her fingernails are also painted, which is pretty nice attention to detail. But there with the skirt with some nice uh, lined patterning there, which is all neatly painted on, so no complaints here. And the sculpt is really well done as well. But anyway, for all you perverts out there, or fellow scientists of course, here's the upskirt shot. Yep, she's wearing red underwear. The legs have been sculpted really well, it's very basic, it's just plain legs. And she does wear the brown shoes with the uh, black socks, which is, is a little bit sloppy right here, but um, not a huge deal, it looks okay for the most part. And then there with the base, which has been really well uh, detailed. I do like it when our figures come with uh, decorated bases, as they always look way nicer than uh, just plain black bases, so yeah. But anyway, moving on to some size comparisons. Here we have the other Corful uh, Marin Kitagawa. And then two other figures of Marin in this particular outfit. If I had to rank them from favourite to least favourite, uh, I'm going to say the one on the left is my favourite, followed by the middle one, and then the right one is probably my least favourite. But anyway, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye bye.